Uh, let's look at how to make um, a lightning effect in Lightwave 3D. Um, this is a video I put up a long time ago, uh, the Digital Sorcery promotional video. And um, we have these two wizards battling, and this dude here shoots some lightning out of his hands. I have much more, uh, I have much more uh, high resolution videos, uh, a version of that that I should put up later on. Anyway, um, so as you can see, there's some uh, some lightning being shot out. So let's look at how to model and animate some lightning. Okay, so here we are in Modeler, and I'm going to go to my uh, either front or or back view. I'll do my front view. I'll hold, uh, Shift X to bring up the box tool, and then I'll drag out a box here. So do this in one of the uh, orthogonal views, like the front view or side view. That way, um, your box will be perfectly flat. Um, okay, so I'm just going to hit my right arrow key a couple times, several times here, and uh, hit enter. So now I have a just a flat plane here. All right. So let's go back to that view there, and um, I'll just uh, lasso select these points on the top and delete them. So now you'll see that I have a uh, just a string of points, uh, two-point polys. Somebody was asking me, how do you make a two-point poly chain? And this is one way to do it, certainly. So um, so now I have those, and uh, I'm going to make it uh, kind of have a jittery kind of look to it like a lightning uh, bolt would have. So I'm going to use the jitter tool, Shift-J. And the size of the jitter effect would be dependent on how big your... Um, object is, but uh, in this case uh, we'll just accept the defaults and as you can see we have a jittery um, lightning effect and um, I think I'll just go ahead and stay with that. Okay, I could maybe turn down the jitter amount a bit, but uh, I'll just stick with that for right now. Now let's go ahead and texture this, uh, give it kind of a lightning kind of looking surface. So we just have the default material here. I'll, I'll go turn the color to like a dark blue Uh, okay, and uh, I'm going to um, change the luminosity. Click on the uh, texture button for luminosity. I'll go to procedural texture. I'll just accept the the uh, turbulence here. Turn the I'm going to turn the texture value up and the contrast. I'm going to turn that way up. So this way, um, this way, uh, w w the luminosity will not be the same throughout the entire object. It will have uh, some parts that are more luminous than others. Okay, so you could even uh, <clears throat> change this to, let's see here, um, 125% or uh, let's go to like 200%. Turn the contrast down a little bit. Okay, so now we have some points that are much brighter than others. Uh, use the texture. Now I'll go to my advanced and I'll turn my glow intensity all the way up. Okay, I think, let's see here. Okay, you can go past 100% with glow intensity. Okay, so um, now we have a uh, a lightning bolt, and let's go ahead and save that object. Um, I'll just call it lightning. Now I will send the object to layout. Uh, let's switch to our camera view and do a, a test render. Okay. So as you can see, some areas are, are brighter than others. And uh, let's add that glow effect. So I'm going to hit, uh, oops, I'm going to hit uh, bring up the effects tab here and go to my processing uh, sub tab. I'll enable my glow. I'll set the uh, glow intensity to, for example, 100% here. I'll set it to 12 pixels. Okay. And uh, let's render. Okay, so now we have a lightning bolt. And as you can see, certain points are much more bright than others. So uh, next thing we need to do is um, animate this lightning bolt. So let's uh, hit P to bring up the properties for it. Let me move it over to the side here so we can see what's going on at the same time. i go to the deform tab and under add displacement I will add a textured displacement. Alright, so when I bring that up, double click on that, uh, again I get my texture uh, editor and I'm gonna go for a procedural texture and as you can see it has uh, started uh, to deform it. And so uh, let's see, I'm going to change my texture value here. So you can just play around with these numbers until you get something that you would like. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's not really animating. 
So there's several different ways we could do this. We could, for example, manually key in the positions uh, over time. You could just uh, click on the envelope and you could set keyframes here. Okay, I'm going to hold down Shift and click on this to remove that envelope. But I'll show you another way that uh, I like to do. Um, I'll just go here to, um, let's see, it should be uh, Control N and uh, creates a null object for us. Okay, I'll make sure I'm on frame zero so I can start animating. Okay, and then I'll go back, select my lightning bolt, uh, open up the texture displacement, and under reference object for the texture, I'm going to select that null object. So now, when I move this null object around, we'll go to frame like 30 for example, and when we move this around, you will see that uh, what I'm doing here is I'm changing the position of the texture based on the position of this null object. So I can kind of move that null object around. And the more I move that null object around, the more the uh, lightning bolt is going to respond. Okay, so um, so now we have the lightning bolt kind of um, shimmering and scintillating and whatnot. Uh, so the other thing we could do to add some more to this is we could either uh, animate this thing stretching. For example, I could just hit H and I could stretch this and um, I could go here and stretch it again and then I could animate it like that. Okay. Let's see here. We'll go to scale and or let me, let me see if I right click on this. Was it, oh, I have to Select it like that and delete that key. Okay. Uh, the other way I can do that is uh, I could also, for example, add uh, bones to this. I'll go to the bone uh, setup tab, add a bone, uh, move that over here, and uh, equals to add a child bone, move that one over here. Okay. And uh, just hit R and R again on these. So now, um, as you can see, I can animate um, these bones. So I could make the lightning, for example, go out and strike an object. And all the while, the lightning is, is going to be responding to the... Um, oh, let's see here if it's responding to the textured motion, okay? So as you can see, we can um, animate the lighting moving uh, where we want. And in the case of the video that I showed you, um, uh, I had uh, several kind of strands of the lightning going out. So as you can see, we got a little Zeus Thunderbolt going out there. Uh, it's one method of doing this, and uh, it's just a, a nice, easy way to get some lightning effects. And uh, of course, you can use any of the uh, animation tools you want on this since it's a mesh. And uh, it's totally in 3D. It's not like a post-processed effect or anything. So I hope that helps you out.